Hello guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I'm trying to do something within Jenkins using Ansible, uh, but I've, I've come across a issue. So um, let's see if we can fix this. So I've got this Jenkins job here. Uh, well, I've got Jenkins installed on this host, and this is the host. Um, I'm calling it control, and I'm logged in as the user mole. <laughs> So if I do sudo su jenkins and type my password, this is the pwd. I'm at I'm in the Jenkins home, and if I do cd workspace, you should be able to see. Yeah, these are all the jobs, and the job that you see here at the top, Ansible copy remote host, is that one. So we're on the same host. And when I go in and run this job, build now, it'll fail. And I'll just take a moment and show you how the code's laid out. Okay, it's already failed. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm copying something, um, copying a Git repository, and um, it is also copying a file, which is the inventory file and then I run a um, shell script. So I'll show you the code. So if I go to configure, so it's, ba it's basically a um, freestyle Jenkins job, no source control, because um, I'm not using Git. And that's all it does, it copies a repository, it's a git repository, but I'm not using git to copy, I'm just copying it in regular fashion. And this is a inventory file that I'm going to use here to run a playbook. Uh, this repository has a playbook, I'll show you a little more um, of what's in that playbook. So if I go to infra I'm just gonna show you this file main.yaml, that's the file I want to look at. Um, it makes sure that there is folder 1 which is that that folder and folder 2 it makes sure that they both exist and then it copies um, I've tried a couple of types of copy uh, one is uh, using the copy command, using the Ansible copy. So if I go end, so I'd write copy and source, uh, source equals uh, folder one and destination equals folder two. And um, I want to equals Jenkins and mode equals 755 and it would still fail, it would still do the same thing so that's what it has um, so that's what I'm doing, I'm just running a command uh, that copies recursive from everything in folder 1 to folder 2 um, so when I do that it currently fails I'll show you this one. It currently fails with a with a problem saying it cannot stat, and then it's treating this as a folder. It's treating a um, asterisk as a folder, and it says I can't find it. And that's what that's what it's complaining about. Um, so what we can try and do is I've tried both methods of copy using Ansible copy and using Ansible command and typing the copy command in like this but that didn't work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a script and run it with a file um, so I'll show you what I mean I'm just gonna pause the video here finish the stuff that I want to do and then I'll come back and I'll explain alright guys I'm back so what I've done, I've done two things um, what I've done is I've modified the playbook to run a script and I'm, I've called that script copy contents.sh so I'm not using copy 
Ansible copy or Ansible command to type in the command. I'm using a script. So the other thing I did um, is I created a copy contents.sh file. So if I do copy contents, oops, copy contents.sh, and I want to do a vim on it. Uh, all, I'm, all I've done is I've just copied the stuff that I had um, under a command. I've just put it in like a shell script and made it executable so you can execute it. Now let me show you the directory structure. I'm here in um, data slash processing. So that's the folder that I'm working PWD, that's the folder I'm working inside. So if I do a ls, there's two folders, folder 1 and folder 2. Um, if I do a find on folder 1, folder 1, so it's got all these, um, it's got all these files. It's got a folder called blah, and then there's three files in it, and then there's three other files, the XML files. They're just dummy files. Um, and if I do a find on folder 2, there's nothing in there. So folder 2 is empty. So um, find and folder 1 has all these files. Our objective is to copy, recursively copy everything in here, in folder 1 down to folder 2. So let's go and let's give it a go and see what happens. So if I come here now and build build now. It's failed. Okay, the reason this failed is because it's complaining about the copy and the only reason that happens most of the times is because uh, you don't clean the workspace after after whatever you're doing. So what I did is I went in and added um, that line in the code. So in the beginning of every run it cleans the workspace which is a which is a good thing as well. You could also check the box somewhere here. It's probably a post build action. But yeah you could also check one of these options and it cleans the workspace but I did it, I did it manually. Um, so let's go back in and Let's give it a go, run again, and go into the console. That looks good. So, um, yeah, I did the removal. That's what I was talking about. It did remove everything in there. That's to a folder and a file. And if we pay close attention, this has changed. This says it's changed. It doesn't fail anymore. So if I do a find on folder 2, Voila, there we have all of our files in folder folder 1 are now also in folder 2. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to accomplish with this video. Uh, perfect, that's, that's amazing. Um, thank you guys. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll post more uh, pretty soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.